Hello there YouTube, the Egitech here doing a tutorial on how to manually install Android 2.3.4 on the HTC Incredible. Now, uh, manually installing is different from over the air or OTA as you may have heard of. Uh, that's where you download the file on a computer and put it on your SD card in a certain way and boot into a certain mode called HBoot and then it uh, automatically goes through, finds the file and updates your phone. Uh, a lot easier than waiting for the OTA, but that's only if somebody track backs the file, tracks back the file, and uh, can update it. So that's really the where some, if somebody can find it. Now they have found it for the HTC Incredible, and I'm going to show you how to install it in this video. So uh, keep watching for more of that. Anyway, first thing you have to do: make sure you plug in your HTC Incredible to your computer. USB cord. Um, the other thing is obviously have your phone on and uh, make sure you have an SD card. Uh, if you do not have an SD card then I'm not really sure if this will work. It might but I'm really, if you, if in the end I really don't know. I use an SD card and that's what they tell you to use so get an SD card. Um, the other thing I'll show you that I'm in Android 2.3.4 and pull up software information and here we are 2.3.4 pretty cool and this was all manual now the reason I need to manually update is because I'm not connected to the Verizon network I use this for Wi-Fi only uh, basically what I did is I bought the phone off of eBay by a guy who used it for a couple weeks and then sold it and um, it was just a factory reset and then basically when Verizon uh, came on the phone I told them that I did not want to activate it at the time, and so I just use it as Wi-Fi. So, uh, pretty cool. Anyway, uh, let's get into this tutorial, and I'll pull you up on my computer so you can uh, see what to do. So, see you in a sec. Okay, here we are. Uh, once you've connected your phone, which I'm going to do right now, one thing you're going to have to make sure to do so you can do this correctly mm -hmm. is when you connect your phone, uh, that'll pop up, obviously. And the other thing is, on your phone, there it will say connect to PC, choose a connection type. Make sure you pick, oops, well, see, it automatically defaults to charge only. Now, you have to wait for that little USB thing to go away, which obviously you can't see, but, um, you make sure to pick a disk drive, and then done. Once you pick that, it'll recognize these two exist, which is the internal memory and the SD card memory. And as you can see, I have a 16 gig SD card and then 8 gigs of flash built in storage. And once you click on this, you'll see the thing. And as you can see, I've already added the file, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but other than that, yeah. Now, what you're going to want to make sure to check right click on the SD card that you have. By the way, make sure you have an SD card. Very important, because uh, I don't know if it works without one. Anyway. SD card, you right click on it, properties, and you're going to want to check here, FAT32, make sure it is FAT32, if it's anything other than that, it's not going to work, as far as I know, uh, and then to, if it's not FAT32, make sure A, you back it up, as you can see here, I have a little HEC backup, with all my uh, crap in there, and then basically just, is basically just going in here, and, you know, blah, type thing not very hard. Uh, and then once you do that, if, uh, of course, if you're formatting, you're going to right click on this, you're going to go to format. Now, there'll be an option. I have this at 32 kilobytes, so I'm not really sure if it makes a difference, but that's what I have it set at, and it works fine. So, uh, and then file systems, make sure you pick FAT32, and it'll start it, but I'm already in FAT32, so I'm good, and don't need format, which most SD cards you'll be fine, but uh, make sure you check that. Uh, and the other thing is you'll need to download the file. To find that, I'm going to have a link in the description to a website with the source, and it also has some basic instructions on how to do it uh, if you need some extra help. Um, so once you download the file, it's about 90 megabytes. Make sure you have 90 megabytes free on your SD card and uh, just download the file and uh, it's a 
drag it to your desktop right here. This will be the name of the file. It's really long and complicated. Uh, and all you need to do is pull up your computer again. And uh, you're going to drag the file into this. Make sure you drag it not into folder. Don't drag it into folder. So drag it straight into the root, just like nothing else. Just drag it as if you were dragging a folder into this completely bare. As you can see there, this is what I need in the file. You're going to need to drag it in here. Once it's there, you're going to right click, rename, and make sure you just rename it update. Now it already has a .zip at the end of mine. Make sure you don't put a second .zip or anything because it already has .zip for me. Um, it'll automatically highlight the other one. So make sure you don't name it .zip .zip because it automatically defaults to .zip when it is a zip file. Uh, and just name it update like ex exactly like this basically, um, and you're good. Once you do that, uh, the next step is on your phone. So as you can see here, uh, I'll just show you the instructions that they have set up in here. Start your phone by holding down the volume down and power buttons at the same time. It's very basic. Um, the volume down and the power, just hold it at the same time. Make sure your phone is pow powered down and then uh, hold those two down and boot up the phone. This will boot you into HBoot, which is where it recognizes the file and uh, automatically updates your phone to Android 2.3.4. Once you're there, uh, it'll, as you can see here, it's a, it shows a little description. It says, once it finds a file and starts to flash the update, you will see a black screen with a green circular arrow and a progress bar. Don't do anything until it's done, because trust me, it takes a long time. Um, that's for sure. Go get a coffee, go do something else, play Minecraft, get some work done, I don't know. Uh, mow the lawn, something. Because it takes a good, at least maybe 20 minutes to a half hour. I'm probably overestimating that, but I, I kind of walked away from it. As it does take about at least 15 to 20 minutes minimum, I would think. Um, and it will reboot itself about three times. It will look like it's rebooting itself three times, and that's normal, by the way. Um, and then once it updates, it gets, looks like it's stuck on the droid eye. And don't worry about that. It's just completely normal. And just wait for it to turn on, and you're done. And that's really all you need to know. I will have this link in the description, like I said, to find the uh, download file. And, um, yeah, fairly basic. Um, the other thing is about this update is you do not need to root your phone. That's a very nice feature because, of course, they must come out with the updates, the custom ROMs that'll basically be a stock Android 2.3.4, but it's still not really the true, um, what do you call it, stock ROM, stock, um, official ROM, uh, so you don't need to root for this. This is all done on a stock Android device, which is very nice. Um, and other than that, um, it'll update, takes a while, and uh, now you have Android 2.3.4. And mostly, the most notable time uh, thing you'll notice is the uh, fact that it has really fast update uh, boot up times. Sorry, boot. The boot up times are like five seconds. I'm not even joking. It'll take five seconds flat, and it's completely done. So that's one of the best parts about this update. Uh, there's a few little other tweaks here and there. Things are a little bit smoother with the uh, transitioning between menus. It's less jump cut type thing and more like a you know, smooth out and uh, that sort of style. But uh, other than that, not a huge update in some ways, but uh, still nice to have for sure. Um, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave a comment or PM me. Um, I do answer pretty much all of them, so uh, really don't hesitate if you have a question to uh, leave a comment, as I actually enjoy answering them. Uh, and uh, other than that, uh, thanks for watching my tutorial, and uh, see you next video. Break the brain.